Okay. Now, as you can see, as we were just doing, we were making the soles of the boots. And in part three here, we're going to... Um, now, what I want to do is... You now, you can do this with a drill. You can just drill a hole in here. But what I do a lot of times is I'll take the knife and I'll, I'll make some cuts like this on the top thing because I'm going to open that up is what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to come back with a knife and I'm going to start scooping that out. That's why I try to say. I want, I want you to understand that I'm trying to do this with a knife if I can so we can open that boot up. Now, you don't have to go real deep. You can, you can go and you can... Uh, you can uh, use a a gouge, which most carvers do, but I'm going to show you how, just with a knife, just sort of remove that wood in there. But best thing to do, of course, is to drill a hole and uh, drill a hole so that you have a hole in there. Okay. Now I'm going to get a gouge later and I'm going to do that. But we're going to go back to the boot itself. But, but you can remove the wood with a knife. In other words, you come around here and you just sort of take that, that wood away from there. And uh, like I said, later we can take... So that uh, a lot of people make um, um, toothpick holders, things like that with these. Now, getting back to the boot itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line down this. I'm going to draw these little handles on the side of the boot that are used to, a lot of people use to. Now, see what I did? I just drew that. Now I'm going to come with my knife. I'm going to come down. I'm going to come across, and I'm going to come down here, and then I'm just going to remove the little slivers of wood from there. See how I do it? There you go. Same thing here. Now, I'm going to come down this boot, I'm going to cut the little line that goes down the boot. See how I'm doing that on each side? There we go. And just sort of remove that wood a little bit in there. I'm going to show you why we're going to do this. Now, you can make the boot any way that you want it. These lines, now they may show up a lot right now, but after I get through cutting, cutting it down, it's not, they're not going to show up that much. Just sort of a seam, as we might say, down, down the boot itself. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to start making deep V cuts into this boot, like this, because I really want to, I want to make this a, a worn, tattered boot. See what I'm doing? I'm just making a series of V-cuts in this boot to give it a little worn shape. what I'm doing. Give it that worn look. I'm going to do the same thing on the outside of the boot back here. I'm just drawing lines and I'm cutting V's into this boot to give it that worn look. Give it like it's been uh, uh, it's old and 
then when I get through with the painting, whenever I do the painting, I, I usually antique it and bring it to that. Uh, and I just basically accomplished that. See what I'm saying? Those wrinkled looks around the boot itself, in other words. And I accomplished that by simply putting a series of cuts. Now, the, I, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm not... I didn't want to go into great detail. And even at the front of the boot here, what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that. And on the other side, I'm going to cut it. You see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm drawing creases in this boot. See? Yeah, I'm giving it more of a, of a, of a personality, as we might say. doing those deep cuts really give the the boot itself that uh, uh, old look and that's what I like whenever I, I create shoes or boots I like the, the something that's worn it's it's uh, okay see see what it's done and, and like I said it's just a matter of taking the knife and doing some V cuts like this Now, I know a lot of carvers, they like their boots smooth and they like them a different way, but uh, I, I prefer to do this because I like that, that old look to them. I mean, you can carve them with different designs, you can carve them with uh, uh, different ways of making them look new and things like that, but I've always, I've always liked the worn look. And also, it's, it's a little bit easier for the beginner to not have to try to do a whole lot of detail. Of course, there's nothing wrong with that. But as you can see, 